Hello guys, welcome back to Learning with Isha. I hope you're all well. In this series, we're talking about the ecosystem. In the first video, I have already give you, given you an introduction of the ecosystem. I have also given you an example of the pond ecosystem. Please check out that video before moving on to the further details of the ecosystem. We're talking about productivity. First, take a second and think that in our ecosystem, who is biomass generate in our It is being done by the producers. Now, another question is, producers kaun hai? who are the producers? They are naturally the autotrophs or the heterotrophs. I hope you guessed it right. They are the autotrophs. They are the organisms that can make their own food. What are the autotrophs ke examples? Phytoplanktons, algae, Plants, these are all autotrophs. They are what? The primary producers of the ecosystem. Okay. So now when I say what is primary production? Naturally, it is the biomass that is being generated by the primary producers. Right. So that's what it is. Amount of biomass generated by producers over an area. And area is necessary. If I area not specify the area, then globally a lot of biomass is being generated, right? I need to specify an area in a kilometer, in a meter, right? So that area is very important. So now if I try to give a unit for it, I can define it in terms of energy, also in terms of biomass. In terms of energy, kilocal, okay? What area be include karna hoga? So per meter square okay so the en energy generated per meter square now in terms of biomass kya aega? grams lete okay so grams per meter square so these are the units for primary production now what is secondary production it seems obvious ki jo secondary producers honge unse jo biomass generate ho raha hoga. the secondary producers are the consumers in fact if a consumer is eating, if a herbivore is eating a plant, wo apni body bhi build kar raha hoga. some biomass will be generated. So that is called secondary production. Secondary production. What is it? The biomass that is generated by consumers over a specified area. Okay. The units are going to remain the same. Unit for energy will be same. Unit for weight will be same. Now, a word that comes from this is called productivity. What is productivity? Let's see. Whenever I talk about the rate for something, let's say acceleration. What is acceleration? It is the rate of change of velocity, right? It is the rate of change of velocity. That is acceleration. So now productivity, if I say is the rate of change of primary production. Let's say the primary productivity. Let's talk about that first. It is the rate of change of primary production. Kya hoga? A time ka factor will also be included. Okay. So now it's going to be my primary production over time. Change ke liye what do we use? We use delta. So let's write delta. Okay. This is my primary productivity. Similarly, secondary productivity. It's going to be the biomass generated by the consumers over an area in a specified time. What is going to be the unit? Unit is going to be in terms of energy, it is going to be kilocal per meter square per year. Yearly basis. Pe dekhte. What is it going to be in terms of biomass? It will be gram per meter square in an year. This is my productivity. Let me ask you a question. Why do plants need energy? And do not ask me why I have suddenly come to you with this question. You'd understand the logic of it in a tiny bit. But for now, pause the video and try to think why do plants need energy? Well, I hope you came up with an answer. The answer to this could be many. I'll just tell you some of those. Plants need energy to perform their basic processes, right? We eat food because there is a lot of process that is happening in our body. We need energy for digestion, respiration, excretion for all these processes. Similarly, plants need to perform their own processes. Uske liye unhe kya chahiye hoti hai? Energy ki requirement hoti hai. Okay. So what could these processes be? They could be cell division. Okay. They could be synthesis of the plant cell wall. 
they could be moving substances in and out of the cell they could be let's say they want to store energy and by storing this energy they would form what their roots their stems their leaves har process ke liye practically energy chahiye hoti hai if they have to move their food if they have to move their water all this requires energy so where is this energy coming from the energy comes from a process called as respiration okay what is respiration respiration is a process that leads to the breakdown of the organic compounds that are synthesized during photosynthesis photosynthesis mein kya hota hai glucose ban raha hai kaise ban raha hai carbon dioxide aur water se ye glucose kya hai ek energy giving compound hai ye aage ja ke plants mein aur bhi sugars mein convert hota hai respiration usko break down karta hai aur energy release karta hai is energy ko plant utilize karke apne baki processes ko perform karte hain now what is the logic of asking this question let's get back to our original topic talk about primary productivity in a little more detail primary productivity you see is basically of two types okay first is the gross primary productivity and second is the net primary productivity dono mein kuch difference hoga kya difference hai samajhte hain gross primary productivity wo biomass hai jo ki producers ne total produce kiya Let's see the definition. Rate of production of biomass by the plants or the autotrophs per unit area. Okay, isn't it the same definition that I gave you earlier? Yes, it's the same definition. The units are also going to remain the same. Please try to recall gram per meter square per year. Exactly the same definition that I gave you earlier. Then what is the need for introducing this new term of net primary productivity? Because as I have told you. whatever is produced some of it is going to be broken down to perform the basic processes of the plants that is counted under respiratory losses i told you respiration wo process hota hai jo ki energy release karta hai so what happens is my gross primary productivity minus the respiratory losses will give me the net primary productivity so jitna total biomass produce hua usme se jo breakdown hua उतना ही तो मेरे हाथ में बचा और जितना मेरे हाथ में बचा उतने ही को प्लांट्स ने यूटिलाइज किया टू मेक न्यू बायोमास टू मेक रूट्स टू मेक लीव्स टू मेक स्टेम एंड दैट इज गोइंग टू बी कंज्यूम्ड बाय द कंज्यूमर्स एंड आल्सो बी अवेलेबल फॉर डीकम्पोजिशन टू द डीकम्पोजर्स लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल लेट्स ए माई प्लांट्स मेरे टोटल ऑफ हंड्रेड यूनिट्स ऑफ I'm just considering a unit, hundred units of biomass. Let's say twenty of it was used by the plant itself. In fact, in real life, this number is much higher. Much of what the plant produces is lost as respiratory respiratory losses. So, a more realistic scenario would be, let's say, sixty parts of it is consumed. What is available? Forty parts are available. So, is se kya banenge roots vagera? और उसको आगे कंज्यूमर्स खाएंगे डीकम्पोजर्स ब्रेक करेंगे सो दीज वर द इम्पॉर्टेंट टर्म्स रिलेटेड टू प्रोडक्टिविटी नो दैट प्रोडक्टिविटी इज द जनरेशन ऑफ बायोमास इट वुड बी लॉजिकल टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट आर द फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग प्रोडक्टिविटी बायोमास जनरेशन किस चीज पर डिपेंड करती है टेक अ सेकेंड पॉज द वीडियो एंड थैंक यू सेल्फ यू लॉजिकली आई एम श्योर वुड हैव कम टू फोर फाइव पॉइंट ऑफ द वंस आई एम गोइंग टू स्टेट हेयर The first one is that the plant species that is found in an area, कौन सा plant है उस पर depend करता है कि वो कितना biomass generate करता है Also, the environmental factors that are prevailing in that area, what is the temperature? Okay, that is very important. What is the condition of sunlight? That is very important. That too, in sunlight, we always talk about two things. इंटेंसिटी ऑफ सनलाइट एंड ए ड्यूरेशन ऑफ सनलाइट सनलाइट कितनी देर के लिए है और कितनी तेज सनलाइट है ये दोनों ही बातें जरूरी होती है सो ऑल्सो द इंटेंसिटी एंड द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ सनलाइट बोथ आर इंपॉर्टेंट टू कंसिडर वॉट मोर वॉट इज दिनारियो ऑफ द न्यूट्रिय अवेलेबिलिटी इफ न्यूट्रिय स्केयर्स अगर न्यूट्रिय से कम होंगे तो खाना किस चीज से बनेगा सो न्यूट्रिय अवेलेबिलिटी नाउ नेक्स्ट who is making the food who is fixing the biomass it's the plants so plants ki kya ability hai photosynthesis ki 
the photosynthesis photosynthetic ability of the plants that is also very important so these are some of the factors that influence the productivity of an ecosystem thanks for watching the video and i hope you found it useful consider subscribing to the channel for more such informative content